come back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We're fixing to get this boat geared up to do some fishing in the swamp throughout the summer. Uh, good for eat, carrying boat around. I want to be able to carry my dad down there. Uh, but I wanted some lights on the front. This boat had some lights mounted up here one time, but you know, back in them days we had them old halogen lights. Well, now I've got me some good new LEDs right here. This is what we're gonna mount. We've got two of them. We're gonna mount these on the front. I've got, it came with the hardware. I ordered these off Amazon. It didn't cost a whole lot. But I have this little multi-purpose light and I'm gonna use it for two things. Uh, I'm gonna plug it up and lay it in the boat. That's gonna allow me a green, and it's green. I'll, I'll turn it on in a little while. We'll look at it uh, when we start doing some further testing. Um, and there's already some existing wires run to some of this stuff. I'll have to add some more wire to it and get my battery in here now. Uh, but this light right here is going to do a couple of things for me. It is a submersible fishing light. So I can drop this down in the water and fish around it. We're going to experiment with that. Uh, and uh, they say to catch crappie at night around it. We're going to find out. We might do some gar fishing, whatever. I don't know what all we're going to attempt to do. It's been a long time since I had the John boat out running. Uh, the next thing that light is going to do for me is I can lay it in here and it being green, it ain't so bright blinding it. I can find my hooks. I can see what's in the boat without a big bright light in here blinding me to be able to see out. So inside the boat, I just want low light in there. So that's going to do a couple of things for me. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is I got this boat anchor. Now my dad-in-law gave me this boat anchor for Christmas. This is a good, and I'm going to swap it from this boat to the other boat. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I bought a brand new roll of rope. I did not want no real high tensile, strong, you know, rope. I just wanted something that I could manage and I have got to find the end of it. That is not it. There it is, look at here. Here's the end of it. And Brody is, is bouncing the boat all around. I know he's making y'all seasick. Brody, Brody went to the doctor this morning, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What you got? What's that for? That's a hook in case I want to hook it to something. Okay. Right here, I'm just going to run this through here. And uh, I'm gonna tie a bowline on here. And then I want to run out. I'm just gonna back off out here. I'm gonna just back off and see how much I want. I want about 22, because I, like I said, I want enough to drop in my big boat down to the bottom if I'm out in the lake somewhere. So I don't want just barely enough. That right there should be more than enough. Now this is not expensive rope. It is that old, you know, got the old cheap cord in there, but for, for a boat anchor, it, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. I tell you what I'm gonna do before I do all that. Let's, I like to push that stuff up toward the end and then tie it off. Then I can singe all that. And it's hard to singe some of that junk out here in the wind blowing and whatnot. But anyway, this is just one of the things we're gonna do. I'm gonna lay that rope to the side of there. We're gonna use it for some more stuff. Oh. Uh, I gotta cut that a little more for my for my liking. Now I can burn it together. But anyway, we're gonna get this boat anchor. It's gonna stay in the boat here with us. And I've got probably 20 so foot of there, but that way if I'm out in the in the uh, water in the other boat, I got plenty to reach the bottom. So I'll be sitting there and be steam, fall out. Okay, this hardware, 
This bolt goes down. And we've got a nut and a washer that will go under it. Now this, we're gonna turn it that way. And just as I suspected, this is gonna be very, very difficult in this corner to put in there. Okay, we have, we've successfully already lost the washer. Let's get a nerd one. Where'd the washer go? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't found the washer. You ain't doing that if you don't lose two or three things. I tried to talk old Brody into being steel, but he said he wouldn't undo it. Didn't you? Did you say you wouldn't on be steel? He said, I will be still steadily moving. Oh, wait, we got it then, y'all. We got it that time. Okay. Let me see that. He got my... And that ain't gonna work up in that hole either. But anyway, I see the washer I lost now. Take the Gatorade, put it in that refrigerator if you're through with it. Uh, okay. And then this, y'all. tell y'all what I'm seriously thinking about doing. And that is mounting this down with a self-tapping screw. I already had these holes in these corners, but I don't know. All it's gonna take for them is just a little bit to come loose. And I'm gonna steadily be fighting with them. adjust it. I'm going to tell y'all, we're going to go ahead and give this a, a try. Oh. Brody, please sit down and be still. He don't realize he's steadily bouncing the boat. I'm going to take these two grounds, the black off of both lights, and I'm going to ground them to the boat seat somewhere because I'm going to ground my hold off. Uh... The electrical system to the boat itself.
And I know somebody's gonna get on to about heat shrinking and all that with it being in the water, but it's just a light. We ain't wiring up high house now. And if I had it, I'd put it on there. I do have some of these blue ones, but they're way too big for that wire. And I'm gonna leave myself some slack for this. It don't have any insulation on it, but I'm grounding it to the boat so it's not gonna matter, see. Come on, power pliers. I'm sure some electrician's gonna scold me on this video, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. I'm the one doing this. All right. I'm thinking instead of up here, I'm gonna screw this right off into the edge of this seat. I just think it'll be safer right there. All right. Now we're gonna run white wires to the rest of that. And this is actually some steel house wire type stuff. Uh, it ain't house wires. I don't know what you call it. I do have these insulated things. We may use them on this hot wire. We'll prevent some shortage, shortage on it. It's got a heat shrinking. That'll make somebody happy, I think. Ah. Somebody might ask, why are you doing all this? And it's because I've always ran this boat at night holding a spotlight, and that works. But with Brody in there, I need to be able to be where I can keep my mind on him and be able to glance up and see where I'm going if I need to. So. And y'all, we got a 25 horse motor on here. That thing gonna stand this boat up, probably. All right. Could make myself happy with this one. I'm a little bit like old Marcel Ledbetter. I know what I'll do. Y'all do know about Mo Gooder, don't you? Mo Gooder. 
That is what that is. No gooder. Be a darn deal on them lights right there. Well, y'all, we out here got the boat motor running, water running through it, making sure that the that it's the water pump's pumping. Uh, this is the first time I have cranked this motor up and run it. I cranked it right as soon as I got home and let it run like a second and cut it off. Uh, I didn't have my water hose hooked up. Got that done. Boat trailer tires, all that up. These have been sitting flat, y'all, for like three years. Got them rigged up. I had to put a new valve core stem on the other side. That was a chore. I wound up backing over the edge of the tire with my truck to break the rim down. Put a new valve core stem in it. Man, we good. They hold in there. I put them in a bucket of one of them mineral tubs that's sitting right there, full of water. Pushed it down in it, made sure there wasn't no bubbles coming up. Oh, uh, and I got my lights right here. And I know y'all, when I walk around with this camera, that I bounce it around a lot. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all. You see the little green light right here? That's on. That's my underwater drop-in light. Turn my switch on right there. Let me walk up here and show y'all. Lights on the front. So what I am gearing up for is actually night fishing. We got to review another one of them Predator lights. We're gonna take the boat, ride the swamp, see if we can find pigs one night. So. We are going to do some limb hooking in this thing, riding the river. We're going to just go down there in the swamp one day and just ride and see where all we can get to and go. Uh, I wanted this rigged up where I could drive at night, and then I can take my headlight or flashlight or whatever and shine the banks as I'm going. So I just wanted to let the old motor run a little bit. we got everything geared up. As far as I know right now, the boat is ready to go. I have still got some stuff I'm going to work on like this seat right here. I showed y'all this hole in the front. I'm gonna find something to, to probably deck this seat because usually once I cut the motor off, I like to come up and set up on the front of the boat and paddle with one hand. I can steer that boat around while I fish with another hand pole. So we'll have to see how all that works out. We got Brody, he'll be ready to go. Hey, get out of that water. Look at him, y'all. He's parked up, I'm telling you. Come here, you got anything you want to tell these folks on YouTube? Tell them what we're doing right here. Somebody got something going up the road they need to be working on, sound like. They got them, oh, uh, they got pieces of drain pipe sticking up over the heads out of the front of it, so you know what they've been doing. <laughs> Turn around, Brady. Tell them we've been working on boat motor. Yeah. Yeah. What we're gonna do with this boat? We're gonna go riding in that swamp. Yeah. Tell them what's no, the best way. Right. You done got your boots back on the wrong feet? No. Oh, no. Tell them what's the best way to do things. Come here and talk to them. It's the way you like to do it. <laughs> Tell them we'll see them next time. See you next time. Y'all have a good one. We'll see y'all.